I'm Jacqueline and welcome to Timeless Beauty Studio for the Mature Woman. First of all, I just want to say a Happy New Year to all my subscribers and uh, anybody who out there who's watching. This is my first uh, video for the year. Uh, unfortunately, I had been um, sick for a while and I wasn't able to get any videos up. But anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to say um, it's glad to, I'm glad to be back and um, I'm ready to roll. So um, I'll be putting my videos out uh, once a week and um, yeah, so let's just get started. So the first thing that I thought I would do for the year 2019 is do a tag. And I had somebody ask me, um, they wanted to know a little bit more about me. So I thought um, the uh, get, to know, get to Know You tag was a good opportunity to start the year off so you can know a little bit more about me. So anyway, I've just got my um, questions on my phone, so I'm just going to be following along and uh, answering those questions. I have 20 questions. I won't be taking a long time, but uh, anyway, let's, I just wanted to let you know, and uh, here we go. So the first question is, what is your full name? So my full name is Jacqueline Beatrice Tintinelli. So um, it's a mouthful. All three of the names are fairly long. And yeah, so that's my full name. Uh, how did I get my name? So it's number two. So first of all, my first name, Jacqueline, my oldest sister when I was born was given the, um, she could uh, name, name me because I was six years younger than her. And uh, anyway, she picked Jacqueline. So that's how I got Jacqueline. And Beatrice was after um, my grandmother, um, my dad's mother, because uh, they were from England. And my mother, uh, my mother's mother was from Italy. So I got a bit of both in me. <laughs> so, and then Tintinelli is my husband's last name. So let me see here. Oh, my phone just went out. Uh, what is your biggest accomplishment? Uh, what is my biggest accomplishment? Well, I think my biggest accomplishment is when I decided to make a career change back when I was 55. I was getting tired of the workforce and I really wanted to make a change. So I am 62 now. So anyway, I went back to school and I went to um, uh, call George Brown College in Toronto and I actually went and lived on campus while I was uh, doing this life change for myself. So I took my uh, image consulting certificate and my makeup artistry course. So that was a big uh, accomplishment for me at that age. Okay, so where do I live now? I live in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. Kitchener is about an hour, uh, hour west of Toronto. Uh, have you moved from home? Uh, where to and how was the experience? I was born in London, Ontario, and when I was 20, I moved to the Prairie Provinces of Canada for a couple of years, and then I moved out to the West Coast where I lived for 10 years. And uh, then I moved back home when I was about 30 years old. So uh, it was a great experience. I met a lot of great people. Um, uh, the Western Provinces were uh, really good to me, and uh, I do miss, I haven't been out there since I came back. So anyway, it was a great experience. Um, okay, number six was, uh, what year were you born? So I had mentioned I am 62, so I was born in 1956. Uh, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I will probably put a picture up here for you of my pets, because I have lots of them. Uh, I have a cat and a dog. So Marcella, she is my cat, and she's just uh, two years old, and the dog is my grand doggy, actually, which I had to take in. And she, her name is Sammy, and she is... Um, seven or eight years old now. So we enjoy our pets. <laughs> uh, do you have any children, grandchildren? And uh, that is number eight. And I have three children. My oldest daughter is, uh, my oldest is my daughter and she is 37. I have a son 34 and another son 26. I have two grandchildren, two grandsons um, by my daughter. And uh, the oldest is uh, 17, he'll be 18 this year. And my other grandson is going to be 10 next, in a couple of months. And how tall are you? Well, I'm not very tall, I'm five foot two. So, 
my mother used to tell me growing up that good things come in small packages because it used to bother me that I was always so short. Uh, okay, number eight, uh, that was how tall are you? Number nine is what is your favorite color? Even though I have red on right now, I do like red, but my favorite color is blue. So um, I wear a lot of blue. Do you work a job? Uh, yes, I, like I said, I have my own business, but I also do a job uh, part-time, and I work for uh, Clio, which is the uh, um, ladies' wear store in uh, Canada. So I do that part-time. I really enjoy it. Number 12, what are your summer, some of your favorite TV shows? Uh, what some of your favorite TV shows? So they vary. Uh, I do like, there's a new one out that we've been watching called Manifest. Um, there's also one called Blacklist. I do enjoy America's Got Talent because uh, we enjoy, it uh, gives you a variety of uh, talent that uh, I always find amazing to watch. We do like Empire and Power because uh, we come from a musical family and my son's a musician and my, my husband is too, so we, we enjoy those shows. Number 13, so what is your go-to fast food order? <clears throat> I don't typically buy fast food, but when I'm in a hurry and I do tend to when I want something that's fast, I will get Swiss Chalet chicken. Uh, what are your pet peeves? Well, I have a pet peeve of uh, rude people. And also when I'm shopping in the grocery store, I have a pet peeve of people blocking the aisles with their carts and uh, not paying attention to what's going on around them. So anyway, um, let me see here. What social media are you addicted to? I don't think I'm addicted to any social media, not like a lot of the younger ones, but um, I think probably YouTube, because I'm on YouTube a lot, and Instagram, so those are my go-to. I'm not so much with the Facebook, but mostly Instagram and YouTube. All right, uh, what phone do you have? Well, I have my iPhone, and it's only a couple years old, so I'm new to iPhone but I really enjoy it. All right. Um, are you a morning person or a night owl? Actually, I am neither. I, I am up early every morning. I get up, I wake up usually 5, 5 30, 6 o'clock, I'm awake, uh, and I get up, but um, it takes me a while to get going. And I'm definitely not a night person. I uh, don't like being out late. And I guess as I age too, um, the bedtimes get uh, earlier and earlier. All right. Um, what what is okay? What is the first time? Oh yeah, how old were you when the first time you were allowed to wear makeup? So I would think I was probably 13, 13 years old, and my first makeup items were lip gloss and uh, mascara. But I think lip gloss was the very first one. And. Um, what are some of your different jobs, what are some different jobs you had in your life? When I was a kid, I worked tables at a restaurant, I did a pizza, I worked in a pizza place, um, picking people picking up pizza at, late at night, uh, I stocked shelves in a drugstore, and then I worked for a major bank here in Canada for 20 years, and I worked in the healthcare, I worked for a chiropractor for uh, 13 years, so I've had a variety of different positions, but I'm enjoying my um, entrepreneurship right now. <laughs> All right, um, why did you start a YouTube channel? This is my last question, number 20. The reason I started YouTube was I had been watching the Mature Community for a while uh, when I had gone back to school and I was into this uh, industry of beauty and fashion and that sort of thing. Uh, I started looking at some of the uh, YouTube channels and that's when I, I got really hooked um, <clears throat> and I really enjoyed it and I thought what a great bunch of ladies and it would be a great be, um, community to be a part of and also when I was starting my business I thought well if I started putting up videos then I would have videos for my clients to refer to on different things that we that we go through here in my studio. So anyway, that's why I started my YouTube channel, and um, I'm really enjoying it, and I really hope that uh, you uh, will stay with me as a subscriber or subscribe to me if you're new, 
And uh, anyway, I hope everybody has a great 2019. And I just want to say thank you for being here. And anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.